you are going to write down all of the writing structures for this topic. This worksheet, there is no MCQs, it's only open-ended. Writing structures for all three topics, okay? So let me show you the writing structures. You're going to write this down first before you go for your break, okay? So matter itself, actually all three topics is the same. So matter itself is all going to do with properties of something. Okay, any, matter is anything that has mass, right? It has mass and has volume. So for any, just write this down, okay? Don't worry about the rest. They're taking such a long time. So occupy space. So for what is occupying space, okay? Occupy space. Previously occupied by something. And of course, you use the word escape as well. Okay? Use the word escape. Or you can also use okay, occupied by something. Or you can also say it's displaced. Displacement is also there. I mean, you can use that as well. We got definite shape. Definite volume cannot be compressed or can be compressed. Up to you. Definite shape. These are the characteristics of your solid, your different states, huh? solid, solid liquid, liquid gas. So here, volume and can be compressed or not, so these are the two things that always come together. Okay? Definite volume means cannot be compressed. Indefinite volume means can be compressed. That's all. Light energy. Let me change color. You'll use all of these for your writing structures, okay? I'll teach you how to use it. So light energy, we're looking at uh, also the properties of light energy. There's a total of six, if I'm not wrong, light energy. So here, light travels in a straight line. Not only that, light can be reflected. Of objects. Then what else? Light. Light can be reflected of objects. Light can be blocked by an opaque or translucent object to form a shadow. We've got the last three things, which is your transparent, translucent, and opaque. You have to know when to, uh, like what, what's the meaning of these three terms? Allow most light to pass through, allow some light to pass through, and does not allow any light to pass through. So magnets itself, also same thing, you are using the properties of the magnets. Properties also from the next, you got six different properties. First property is unlike poles. I mean, it doesn't come in any particular order. Lah. Okay, but I just like to put it in order. So, unlike poles attract, uh, facing each other, attract. So, like poles facing each other, repel. Okay, so X at a distance. Magnetism of a magnet is strongest at its poles. Magnetism of a magnet uh, attracts magnetic materials, which is your SINC, steel, iron, nickel, cobalt, only for materials. And magnetism of a magnet passes through a is able to pass through non-magnetic materials.